it's honestly no surprise that Levy is literally one of the most beloved in Trinity 7. Ignoring, ignoring the fact that she plays this other place in the character popular pole. Like, look at that, bro. She's literally 7th in that character popular pole. I mean, it's not that bad. Like, it could be higher, but I'm I'm not the one to judge. Alright, bro. Before you guys let me in the comment section, bro. Like, how the hell fucking Sora got second place? Like, it could have been Lilith. It could have been... Yuri, it could have been Aqua on that list, but how the hell Sora got on that list? I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, like she's like a you know a support character to you know to, to like the art stuff, but goddamn, like second place. I'm not mad at that. Uh, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. The point is, Levy is extremely popular in the Trinity Seven fandom, and basically well loved amongst everyone. And why is that basically? Why is people love? Levy Kazama. I guess, I guess, I, I guess I could say, right, she's, she's a ninja. That's, that's, that's not the basic answer I, I can give you. Like, she, cause she's a ninja, cause she got like one eye co co covering her hair, and she got the ninja outfit on. That's basically like one answer I could, I could basically give you. Guess beyond the surface, but you gotta know the character a little bit. You know what I mean? It's a very strong point. So why Levi Kazama is a good character? Levi is an easygoing, confident woman, customarily declaring her as a ninja and displaying her skills. She rarely does become agitated or nervous, the type of acting casually in most situations. She is even becomes mainly calm and functional normally even while at disadvantage. In conclusion, right, she really cares about her peers and, and friends, right? Especially Yuri, bro. Like I think around episode five or four, right, she's trying to rescue her, right, Yuri, right? She basically went all out. Not not all out, but she basically trying to save her. Top of all that, right? This is like the first time in the anime. I know there's like two more moments besides this, but it's actually, it's actually like the first time, right? She actually tried to save a Trinity Seven member from actually dying life from a freaking phenomenon, per se, right? Uh, we don't really don't know how Levy and Yuri actually met, but it's actually like the first time she actually going serious to try to save a Trinity Seven member. You have to really think about that for a second. And if they actually, right, do a backstory in the manga, right? When they actually, actually met, right? Then I'm actually down for that. And by the way, and if you read her spinoff, right? And if you actually pay attention to her backstory, it's actually kind of fucked up. It's really fucked up. I, uh, like, I have to, I have to basically have to throw it out there. It's actually fucked up. And if you actually pay attention to that stuff. And people don't really don't know about this, but she she was a former member of the Wu Chi Shadow Ninja Force. Yeah, that's like a like a whole mouthful. But she was like a like a former a former member of that group. But she she was you know like had to retire and join base and, and, and join the Twenty Seven before she joined Royal Infinity Academy. The lady is worshipped as the Hoda City man. Her eye can see the death of everything. Because of this, Levy fears and sealed by the village. It's not included from other humans. Levy herself also lost interest in interacting with, with humans because she always knew their death. That's the whole rundown of her past. And going back to Levy's personality, about how right she's like a comic collective and she always, you know, makes jokes in a serious situation. And she's kind. She got some good advice on like the whole system about magic, and she's basically all over the place. I, I tell you that she's literally all over the fucking place. Funny enough, right? He can't be depressed around like because she'll she'll make damn sure you uh, you'll be all right, bro. Like, and and she's one of those characters, right? She would just like to basically like the class clown of the class. All right, so let's talk about Levy's rivals because I don't really talk about rivals about in Trinity Seven verse at all, but like, like in general, so. I think Levy got three or four arrivals like, in, 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 in my in my theory and prediction and uh, whatever the fuck, right? Okay, so Luke is one of them, right? In the character, um, one of the characters in in Levy's spinoff, I forgot her name. And the third one 
is it had to be Lisa because like in a few chapters I just been reading on the market she just been on a roll with me so I'm gonna just pick her as my third one where I could pick out my arts and I could put Yuri on this list too but yeah, I'm gonna pick Lisa on this list because it's kind of it's kind of neck and neck because basically what I'm trying to say is they could basically keep up with each other in terms of strength and I, I would say I'm not gonna say speed, but let me take that like you know, like in a long shot. I like in a long shot, like in a long shot. I tell you that much. But you know, like Lisa and Levy, in terms of the rivalry, is is our match. And if I is is, is literally our match. But and if I and if I say Luke and Levy, that's that's the name for place. But and if I had to, and if I have had to put a list right in terms of rivalry, I have to put Luke in first. Right, the Levy, um, the Levy versus Luke, and the second one has to be the Levy versus uh, Lisa, and the third one has to be the, uh, the, the spin-off character, and and Levy. So that's like my list right there. Like turn the part, turn the turn the robbery. Here's a fun fact for you. Like the author, right? His his like his favorite character is Levy. I'm I'm not even joking. His favorite character is actually is is Levy Kazama, actually. Um, and if you and if you um read like the last volume. Of, of her spinoff right right there's like a hidden message in her spinoff like it's like the last page of it but it's in japanese but you can just find it online or, or whatever but I, and if and if i um i never i never i never can find it on here i don't know to put it on the on, on the video or whatever but it's like his favorite character is actually Levin Gazama, which is actually kind of crazy but he's actually like me for real honestly see why i like this character bro like she's literally she's literally in my profile picture on youtube and 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 better like like i literally like this character bro like i like her you know character in the manga and the anime like i hope they get a season two someday in the future like it can't be you know next year in the further year you know what i'm saying but i really like this character like like she literally she literally like my number one female character of you know of all time uh, sorry for like for the like I upload or uh, treat seven videos in general because work has been you know been kind of busy lately like I'm gonna be you know focused on the 37 videos like for uh, for now and if you're new to the channel and if you like 37 content fighting game content like this then subscribe to the channel we are eight more away from in 900 subs yeah man it's kind of crazy like we almost there like and if, you, and if you like this video right here, then like the video. Another on that, peace.